In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a beautiful looking logo for your website or your brand for free. Now, if you've ever made the search for a free logo maker or logo maker or something like that on Google search, you've been bombarded with options because there are hundreds of different logo makers available for you to use. So the question is not how to find logo maker, but the question is how to find the right logo maker for you. And what I did was I researched over 40 different logo makers. I went on their websites, I read the terms and conditions. I actually tried to create logos with all these different logo makers. And I found the one which checks all the important check boxes you should look for when creating a logo. What are the check boxes? What are the conditions? Let me tell you about them. The first thing to look out for is a wide icon library because without a wide icon library, you won't be able to create or customize your logo to a great degree. You'll be stuck with a design that is very similar to other designs out there. The second thing to look for is good typography options because if you don't have good typography options, again, your website or your logo will look like just all the other logos out there. You want to be able to customize the font and typography and you need good mark control over the typography of your logo. The next thing that you should look out for is if the logo maker actually allows you to download a high resolution version of your logo. Because a lot of websites, what they offer is a free logo maker, but when you go and download the free version, it's so tiny that you will have to probably look through a microscope to understand what the logo is. So that's very important as well. And the last and the most important thing to keep in mind is that the logo should be copyright free. Because what happens is a lot of logo makers will let you download their logo and use it for free. But when they find out that you've been using their logo to run a successful business or a successful website, that's when they'll contact you and say, hey, you cannot use our logos for commercial purposes. You need to pay us this much money to use our logo. And then you are done for. So that's why it's very, very important to choose a logo maker that checks all these boxes so that you can create a beautiful looking logo that suits your brand, your identity, and also looks great on your website. So keeping all these factors in mind, the logo maker I found the best, at least that fulfills all these criteria, is called logomaker.net. This is how the website looks like. You can see all the stuff here, all the things that they offer. And of course, a link will be in the description of this video to not only this logo maker, but all the uh, other logo makers I try. I'll try to include uh, all the logo makers as a uh, Google spreadsheet. So you can verify all the logo makers I tried, but this one is the best according to me. So let's go ahead and make a quick logo with logomaker.net. So the first thing you need to do is select a category of your logo. That means what category your website or your brand or your business is in so that logo maker can recommend uh, good looking logos in that department. So for example, I'm creating a website for, let's say for example, a barber shop. So I'll type in here, maybe B-A-R-B, -B, barber, and I see a recommendation right here. I'll click this option and I'll say, or click start designing logo. And instantly I see Logo Maker is recommending a lot of beautiful looking logos to me. And from the looks of it, you can see that the Logo Makers or the logos that are recommended are quite unique. They're not very similar. They're not uh, boring. They're pretty interesting logos and you have a variety of options to choose from. You have a modern looking logo, you have a like old classic kind of logo. And if you click this eye icon on any of these logos, you can uh, see a big preview of the actual logo. So this one looks good to me. This one also looks good to me. The colors are pretty modern. But let's say you want to go with this logo or this logo. So any logo that you want to choose to create or customize your logo, you can just go ahead and click this, use this template button. And this will allow you to start customizing this template. So click right here and load the logo in the logo editor. So as you can see, the demo logo has been loaded into the interface. And there are a lot of things that you need to understand about the interface so that you can take or maximize the advantage or maximize the customization options. So let me first show you all the options available and then we'll customize this according to whatever I think is a great looking logo. All right, so on the left, you have a few different options. The first one is called templates and it will show you all the different variety of templates you have available. So for example, you have architecture logo, you have a barber logo, which we just chose. And what you can do is if you want to change uh, this interface or change the actual logo you're using as a template, you can always go to, let's say, see all. And if you want to change, you can just click on the new logo. For example, I can uh, click this, use this template, and the new template will be instantly loaded right here. This is pretty simple so that you don't have to worry about, oh, where do I go back? You can just click right here. So let's just for fun, let's click on this one and use this one instead, instead of the old one that we were using. So I'll click this one and this new interface is now loaded, right? So I can go back and do the same thing again. If I change categories, definitely it's not something that you would do on the Baba logo, but it's still a possibility. The second option is the option of adding shapes because a logo is a, 
or to customize a logo to enhance a logo to maybe design or stylize logo you can add different so different shapes so you have simple shapes you can see a circle a rectangle a rectangle with round circles and if you click see all you'll find a variety of shapes that you can add and then even add colors to these shapes to just give it a bit of a, uh, a zing to your logo but if you go back you also have foliage you have gradients gradients are also be beautiful if you use those or if you won't want to use them to stylize your uh, logo again you'll need some sort of uh, understanding of the colors of your brand already to use this but again uh, we don't need to add a lot of details it's uh, minimal is best or i'd say uh, less is more in the logo department but uh, what i'm showing you is that you have all these options available you can have animals uh, you have lines you have organic rainbows you have different colored shapes, drawn objects, and a lot of options to customize and like beautify your logo, right? Then you have the text options, which obviously makes sense. You can add more text if you want to or customize this. I'll show you how to do that. And you also have the background option. So right now, the uh, background of this logo is completely white, which is perfect because you can just uh, cut this out and use it on the website. But then sometimes you want a colored background as well. So that's also an option available just for kicks. I'll show you how it looks, right? So changing back to white right now, we'll customize or use this option. And this is a option uh, for layers because every logo has uh, multiple layers stacked on, on top of each other, which create the actual logo. So if you click this button, it'll show you all the layers that this logo comprises of, which you can see the text is a set of different layers. The scissor icon is a different layer. The comb icon is a different layer. So you can customize each of these separately to create a beautiful looking logo. And you can also close and open this logo or uh, layers by clicking the button right here. So this is the left of the interface. On the right of the interface, I already showed you the logo, uh, which uh, pops up when you click right here. And you have also all these options which you can uh, use to customize each of the elements. So you have a copy option, so you can copy and duplicate uh, any of these elements. You can move it around. You can add a URL to them, not applicable to a logo, but to an image. Then you can lock this so that nobody, you cannot customize it, and you can, of course, delete it. So let's say, for example, I want to add a thick layer of text once again. So what I'll do is go to text, or you can, I can just click and select this and I can copy it. So I'll create a copy of this layer. I can move it around. And if I don't like it, I can always delete it. So whatever you click on will be selected. And then whatever customizations you will apply, will apply to that specific layer. So let's start with, uh, let's say the comb icon. Let's say I click this and now I have the customization options load up for all this or specifically the comb icon. And you can see the current color that is assigned, which is right here, is also reflected here. And also the document colors are also listed here. This is very, very important. Let's say this logo is very simple and doesn't use a lot of colors. But if there was a logo that used like 10 different colors, instead of trying to guess the color of what this is, you will all, uh, you'll be presented with all the colors in the document right here. So you can click one of this and the logo will be instantly customized using that color. This is very powerful and uh, removes a lot of guesswork from the design. So just for example, let's say I, I pick a blue color and instantly I have a blue looking color. And what I can do is also add a new color or customize or pick a brand, completely brand new color. That's also possible. So for now, let's say I want to, my brand identity is uh, more suited towards the blue color. So I'll click this and of course, I'll also change the text later on. But I'm going to show you a few different options here as well in the color department. Again, you have the option of opacity. So you can, what you can do is if you just want to create a little bit of highlight, so you can reduce the opacity of any of these uh, elements and then the opacity will be reflected right here. So right now, this can also create a look, looking stylish looking effect. But let's say for right now, you don't want to add or make these changes to, or you don't want to reduce the opacity. That works too. You also have the option of flipping this. So this can work, this can work. You can also flip this vertically, depending on the kind of elements you're using. And of course, if you want to rotate and resize this, all you have to do is come over to any of these corners and just uh, hover over this uh, small dot. I'll just try and highlight that on the screen. Probably you can see it. And you'll see the logo or your cursor actually changing to a double-sided arrow. And then what you can do is just click and hold and drag it out. And this will become bigger. So if you want to, you can resize the elements as well, pretty simply. Right now, I'm going to go just go overboard and show you how it's possible. Sorry, folks, I had a bit of a technical mishap and I was doing something to the logo and I forgot that my camera stopped recording. So coming back, what I was uh, going at is you have the option of resizing the elements as well. Right now, you can see this uh, particular element, I resized it to a particularly large uh, size. So let me just go back and fix it. What I'll go do is, again, go back to one of the corners, just go and just slide it so that I'll probably see this is an appropriate size. And this looks decent in my opinion, uh, in terms of size. And that's how you customize and change the size of anything. You can This works with uh, text as well and any of the icons that are added to uh, the logo as well. 
So that's uh, the simplest way to customize the colors. Let's also try and see if it works of any other icons. For example, if I click the scissor icon, again, I'll see the same controls. I'll have the document options. I can change the color very, very easily. Now let's go to the text option because of course, uh, as I mentioned, I want to change the text color to match this icon that I used. So I'll go or just click on the text and I make sure that the right text is selected by looking at the borders right here. So I can see that the, the is right now selected. And I'll go and just pick this color because this is the one I chose. And instantly the color will be applied to that text layer as well. And I can do the same thing with this, this one as well or this text. Right, I can click this. Now, one important tip to keep in mind is always look out for what layer you're selecting. For example, I actually clicked this layer, but from the border, I can kind of make out that this is the layer, the best barber layer is actually selected. So I can see also the current layer is black because this is black. So what I can do is just uh, use a workaround. I can just move this out of the way for now. Click this, change the color. And with the color set, I'll go back and click this to select this and just move it back into place. And of course, the smart guides, as you can see on the screen, help me layer or like place the all the elements uh, in a precise manner so that the spacing and everything that makes for a good logo is not lost. So right now, again, you can see instantly I started with a red logo, but now I've just customized uh, this to my liking. Now, let's say I don't want uh, these, uh, I'd say, uh, pieces of text right here. I don't want the the, I don't want simply the best. I just want to add a uh, best barber or I'd say, let's say, uh, deep cut or any kind of brand name that I can think of for a barber. Let's do that. So what I'll do is I'll just go, go ahead and click the the icon or the text and right now select it. I can go right here and click the delete button or also press delete on my keyboard and this layer has been deleted. I'll do the same thing for this layer but again keeping in mind this is with what layer is selected you should keep in mind. So I'll just move this out of the way for a second. I'll go ahead and just click this once again and click the delete. And now I'll select this, I'll just move it maybe to the middle of the uh, screen. And this, again, the smart guide is helping me align where I should place the text for uh, not keeping, making it too crowded or uh, not making it too spacious or just making it more looking more professional. So right now I can see the logo looks pretty good. Now I wanna change the text. So in the text area, what I can do is I can just click it and I'll see all the options. Of course, you have the color options which you can customize, but you also have the typography option, which I was mentioning. So you have, you can add new text. You can also add a text effect. And this is something that you won't find in many text editors. You can add a drop shadow, you can add a border, you can add a lift and a lot of different effects. Again, don't go overboard just for demonstration. I'm going to show you how it's going to look like. So if I add this, you can instantly see the shadow is created uh, for this. And again, I can go here and try and pick the same color. I don't remember the color code, but let me make a guess on what this color was. Somewhere in the blue region, right? So I'll just try and recreate the same color. And you can see the text shadow has been added and it's very subtle. And that's again, uh, you should try and be more subtle with your logo. Don't go over and add a lot of graphics and text. And I think this looks like a good effect to have on this, but there are a lot of different uh, things you can change. Of course, you have the text options. That means you can change the typography. You change the text size. You can also change the text size by just doing this, as I mentioned, but let's keep it simple for now. You can change the line spacing or word spacing and also the vertical spacing. Again, you have the option of bold, italic, underline, which is common for any text editor, but this is also welcome here. Then you have change, uh, change the alignment of the text, so left line, right line, and middle or justified, and then uppercase and lowercase and all that good stuff. Again, you can also change the opacity of the uh, text layer. And this is something that gives, or you might think that, okay, these are basic stuff that you can do anywhere, but trust me, I've tried out over 40 logo makers and I couldn't find all of these options or all these um, different options in a good logo maker, which also uh, checked all the other boxes I was talking about. So just in a few minutes, I customized a different looking logo with a completely different looking style. And again, I just showed you all the different options that are available to customize this logo. And the, the idea here is to not create a perfect logo, but the idea is to show you all the options available so you can go out and use this tool to create a beautiful looking logo for yourself. So what I'll do, uh, again, the logo is made. Now what we want to do is download the logo so that we can start using it on our website, right? So the big yellow download button is right here. Of course, you can see it. So what you can do is just click the download button and you'll be presented with three different options, a PNG, a JPG, and PDF. And I would always recommend that when you download the logo, you use the PNG option 
because not only it will preserve the colors, but also it's a lossless format. So there's no quality loss when you download a PNG image. And the best part about logomaker.net is it will give you a very, very high resolution image. So even if you're using it on a website, maybe you can print it on a business card. You can even uh, print it on a letterhead and the size will be sufficient so that uh, there's no quality loss when getting a print done. So I'll click this button and it takes a couple of minutes to finish this. So once this is done, when, once the logo is downloaded on my website, I'll show you how it looks. Okay, uh, while I was speaking, this is done. So let me just quickly pause the video and I'll open this up in a, uh, on my computer and I'll show you how the logo looks. All right, so I just opened up the logo file that I downloaded on my computer and it looks just absolutely beautiful. It looks crisp. There is no quality loss. It's just perfectly uh, beautiful looking. And uh, fun fact, the actual dimensions of the logo that we downloaded from this website Keep in mind, it's completely free. There is no, uh, there's no need to sign up and they're completely copyright free. That means you can use this on your website, uh, printed materials, business cards, letterheads, and anywhere, even if you're on your marketing material for free is 1500 by 1500 pixels. So this is a complete square, 1500 pixels. Just to give you some perspective, most websites are designed with an aspect ratio or I would say a width of 1200 pixels in mind. And this logo, is 1500 pixels wide. That's how crisp the resolution of this logo is. So even if you, let's say you get it printed on mugs or you get it printed on maybe some uh, sort of marketing material that you're printing out, physical products, you can use this logo. And the best part is no legal obligations. Of course, you can use it on your website as well. You might need to crop and make sure the background is transparent in some cases, but I'm pretty sure you can figure it out. If you don't, we will make a few videos on that very soon. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel. And I'll add some footage on screen right here so that you can see how beautiful this logo looks on a beautiful looking website. There's no quality loss. It looks perfect. It's well designed. And of course, all of this was done for free. And of course, if you want to learn how to build a beautiful website so that you can use a beautiful logo like this on your website, make sure to click this playlist right here, which is a set of a collection of videos made by us to show you how to make a beautiful looking website for your uh, business or your brand. And if you're interested in more video tutorials just like this one, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. You're watching and listening to Yuvraj from the Brainstorm Force team. Catch you in the next video. Take care and stay safe.